My name is Aaron Paquette, I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, and I am Indigenous. When I was 19 years old, um, I didn't feel like I was connected to community, I didn't feel like I was connected to myself, I didn't feel I had a, a place, uh, not only in my own life, but, but in my own country. And uh, so I found myself in the middle of the high-level bridge, facing a choice. And the choice is one that a lot of Indigenous youth face, like, do I... Do I stay here? Do I continue struggling? Do I continue with this pain? And do I continue with this feeling of not being a part of something? And as I closed my eyes on that bridge, faced with that choice, just on the brink of, of whether I was going to live or not, uh, the sun started to rise. And I started to cry because I just felt all of that pain and angst and, and, and aloneness slip off my shoulders. And, you know, I... I didn't jump off that bridge, thank God, but I flew. So I started painting, and I painted my aunties, my cousins, my cookums, my nieces in this painting. If there's a socioeconomic ladder in Canada, indigenous women are at the bottom, and they're the ones who need a stronger voice and they need allies. And being indigenous uh, for me is really important. It, it, it means that I've got an inheritance of a beautiful culture and also how to live your life with balance. We're poor! Yeah. The reason I was interested in, in civic politics is because I was raised with the idea that to serve your community, you're active in your community, you're a part of it. And I can't see a better way to do that than to actually be on city council and making sure that every single person has a voice. I love Aboriginal Day because what it does is it allows everyone to see who we are.